Hello, I'm Linda, also known to you as Duchess110. Thought I would uh, try and do a short tutorial on how to texture the new look, get my teeth in right, uh, the new look G3 Robin character bodysuit upper. So, select the upper. Make sure Diffuse is highlighted and click Launch. I use Photoshop CS3. First thing I do is create a new layer to start working on. Use the Lasso tool and just do a quick outline for one side of what will be, in this instance, a corset, I think. So we'll try and crop it up a bit. Double click to complete the circle. And then flood fill. And now here, if you double click on your layer, you can choose to fill it with a gradient or a pattern. In this case, I think we'll do a pattern. Here's one I used for one of the outfits that I created in my pack. So we'll say OK to that one and then flood fill. And as you can see, it sets. You can also, while in the pattern, if you're not happy with the size, you can scale it up or down. Or if you want to move the position of the texture, you can just drag it around the screen and position it and when you're happy, OK. So I'm going to leave it set at 100. Say OK. And then Control D to deselect it. And then we'll go Edit. Oops, no, we won't. We'll do a duplicate layer. OK. And then we'll say Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal and then shift him across, leaving a slight gap there. And I think what I'm going to do is just pull them both slightly apart so that we can maybe put some ribbons or something down the front. Right, and now I will do a quick selection across the back try to position it somewhere near the same distance, hover it a little bit just to see, come back up, flood fill and it's put the same pattern because I've done it on one of the layers as the front. You could if you want um, create a new layer. Um, if you wanted to just control deselect and then marquees around it or put a box around it, edit, cut, edit, paste and then I know you've lost your pattern because you've taken it off the pattern layer but if you say right click, uh, copy layer style, highlight your layer that's black at the moment, right click again, paste layer style, you've got your pattern back and then sort of roughly position him where he was before. So now I'm going to create a background layer. I will keep it as black, flood fill it, and then go into File, Save As, change it to a JPEG, double click on that one, OK, OK again, into iClone and Update. At this point, what I tend to do is I go on to animation and in the custom ones I have created a sort of T-pose so that I can give her a quick twirl and see how the fabric's lining up under the arms because sometimes it will um, maybe not quite line up or the movement of the character will throw the, the alignment out. So if I'm sort of happy with that I'll then go back into there. Now a quick and easy way in 
here to create your lacings if you want is if I go into the actions there are some very good actions you can buy over on Renderosity so um, we'll select just one of the ribbon eyelets and you've now got the option to do it as a pattern or if you want you can do it as a colour um, so I'm going to stick with the pattern I think so that the ribbons on it will match the outfit so it'll just work its way through that and then you've got it they are very large so I tend to scale them down just a little bit in here first say OK shift it over so I can see my layer and then drag it onto there if it's gone down behind one of your previous layers just drag him up until he's on the top bring him down I'll put my back map on there so you can see roughly where to line him up and then scale it so that the button holes are sort of going over drag him around come in a bit closer and then the mouse will be a bit more sensitive bring him down yeah and the ribbons are hanging down below it so again say OK to that put my black back on and resave him and see what he looks like now with that on the front as the JPEG double click to overwrite him OK OK again and update and as you will now see she's got her ribbons hanging down off the base of the corset very quick and easy way to create your opacity maps if you hide those what well, this is the way I do it anyway highlight one that's there merge visible leave the back one there double click on the layer color overlay change your color to pure white OK OK again and you've instantly got your opacity map file save as JPEG and this time you can either leave it written as diffuse copy or if you want name it opacity OK into iClone double click on opacity and it will bring up your iClone temp folder select your opacity map OK there you have it one little bodysuit top four Robin now you could go back into here if you wished take off your color overlay image adjustments desaturate now if you wanted pick a color off there one of the light greys flood fill what was your black with the grey file save as this time though we're going to call it bump let's get rid of that Y at the end OK OK again into here double click on your bump into there and as you can see the costume automatically changed and has got more definition on it now um, if you think it's too harsh you can then slide back mess around with it another little tip while I'm here is if you want to put a bit of specular on it again you can use the opacity map and bring it up and it will then only use that or if you wanted to do an opacity on just a particular part um, say do a duplicate of the eyelets and then put those as an opacity map or a specular map and bring them into iClone so let's hope that's helped you a little bit and uh, Hope I didn't waffle on too much and made it quite a simple procedure. Bye for now.